Chef, for 26 years you worked at the White House and for 22 years you've used Amaretti products, correct? Yes. What are some highlights of those products and why do you like them? Well, you know, when I was at the White House or if I was a pastry chef in a hotel, it didn't make no difference to me. I've always been searching for the best ingredient I can have. I think this is the key to any pastry chef to be and remain on a cutting edge, which is very hard to do these days because there is, as you know, a lot of competition. But there are good ingredients and not so good ingredients. And when I find Amoretti, it was a true saver for me, especially at the White House. I fell in love with many of their products, like mainly all those f uh, nut flour, like pistachio, almond, uh, hazelnut, and the list is endless. The reason why I truly love them is they're super refined. And if you want to achieve quality, like making those macaroons like they are everywhere today, you've seen them, they have to be done with super refined nut flour. Otherwise, they look bumpy on top, they don't, look, they don't have the beautiful shine. So to achieve that, you, it's a must to have this ingredient. Plus, they have a whole line of other ingredients that I love, like their marzipan, the, their praline paste, their, this endless what they have. And I was really, it was an exciting time for me to introduce that to the White House. Now let's talk about specific ingredients. Amaretti's pistachio flour, for example. How do you like working with that? Over the top. First of all, I love the taste of pistachio. And the one they have is, is, has such a strong flavor of pistachio. You don't need to add anything else to make it pistachio. It is by itself. Even though pistachio seems to be a mild flavor, employing the right way it is not. It is really a punch in flavor there. And oh, not only that, color. The pistachio that they have is such bright green color that you do, there is no need of adding to your recipe uh, food coloring or anything like this. You just use it as it is. And it can be used in many different recipes. It can be used in baking, it can be used in, uh, in flavoring even cream and things like these. It can be used in everywhere you want a pistachio flavor, flavor, it's what you're supposed to use. Although they have other pistachio product, like pistachio paste, that is excellent in making ice cream, making even sorbet, and flavoring buttercream, and, and any cream you want to do pistachio, I recommend that very highly. What about Amaretti's cappuccino tiramisu compound? Oh. Wonderful, wonderful, especially of the, the tiramisu today, such people love that. And it's, it's, it's packing a punch like you have never had before. It's truly cappuccino, it's really there. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just like drinking an excellent one uh, just made. And this is what I search in, in good ingredient and good flavor. You know, it's, uh, everyone working in bakery and pastry shop and so on, need to develop a keen sense of, uh, of taste, and very important. I would recommend for many chefs, please drop the cigarette, because that kills your taste bud. And those flavoring and everything they have is so intense and fresh tasting that, uh, you know, we are in a different age now, and you have to go into a different line of the way you have to do things. The way, the way you used to do things needs to change radically. And here is the opportunity right now to do it because you do have the right ingredient that will compensate of the way it used to be done the whole ways. What about Amaretti's white modeling almond marzipan? Oh, I like that because A, it's truly a very super refined marzipan. With loaded with almond taste, which is hard to test because many times you find marzipan, but there is no almond taste. It's just a paste. That is flavorful. And also for shaping, if you're into making a lot of marzipan decoration, which is too bad that has disappeared. I think chefs should consider going back to that because they're so beautiful. Let's say at Christmas time, or new, uh, new Year's, or all this wonderful time of the year. 
having those little uh, decoration beautifully made. People still love that. I know because I've done it. I still do it today. The only reason that it, they're not popular anymore because they're not done very well. They're not, I think it's time to bring them back. Really time to push that. And what I truly like is the true mar, uh, almond flavor that you have in the marzipan. And also the marzipan itself, because it's, it's close to being white, really, then you can color it very easily without changing the color. Because you know, when you put food color into something that is off-white or not white, it can sometimes change the color, col coloration. But that doesn't happen with that marzipan. What I wanted to say is that this marzipan also stay fresh a very long time, meaning you can start your production. And you know, that marzipan also can be flavored of your choice. You can, let's say, put into a marzipan some of the pistachio paste. You can even put some of those wonderful ingredients that I have right here, that we're going to talk about in a minute. I mean, you know, this is, doesn't have to be just plain marzipan anymore. And this marzipan, again, will stay pliable and fresh, I think a month, maybe even longer. And that gives you a great advantage because you want to start your production when you want to be ready for the holiday. You want to do, usually try to do those uh, kind of work when it's slow. You don't want to do it when you're super busy. You don't have the time for that. So by having an advantage like this, this is tremendous because you can put your staff to work uh, when, when they don't really know what to do with themselves, said, okay, come here, I'm going to show you something here. That's what you're going to do today. And also give them some excitement working in a shop, you know. So, how do you use Amoretti artisan flavors and what makes them so wonderful? Well, the artisan flavor are a real great novelty. Because it's, the flavor is so fresh. I mean, I think it's, <laughs> it's hard to say because it's, but it's the truth. It's almost better than the fresh <laughs> ingredient, the fresh fruit. You can't, you can't have a, a, a flavor that powerful using fresh fruit directly. And then if you want to use the frozen puree, now the biggest factor there is the cost because you need so much more to have a, an about flavor, like those two that I have here beside me right now. Uh, if you want to do a passion fruit, you're using frozen puree, you have a much milder product than if you use the artisan flavor, because those are really packed with, and, and will reduce your cost tremendously of what you produce there. Now, again, you can gauge on using more or less depending on what you want. But I've used puree a lot because those pr products unfortunately were not available when I was in the warehouse. I would have given anything to get something like this. So I had to use puree. Now many times I felt that when you use puree, if you really wanted a good taste in it, you had to put so much more puree that you made a heavy product because you had to take away some of the thing that makes the mousse, let's say for a mousse cake, fluffy. So you increase the puree. You know, when you take something away or increase something, you have to change everything else in the recipe. Now by using this product, you don't have to do that because the amount you use is so small and yet you have a lot more flavor and flavor that you know what it is. A lot of the time it irritates me when somebody said, I love your orange cake, but actually that was lemon flavor. <laughs> you know, this is very upsetting when that happened. And you don't want that to happen when you're in dessert making. You really want people to, when you bite into a cake or something, wow, this is the first thing, wow, what flavor? Where did you get this flavor here? And this is what we have now and that, that we have to spread the word because we want our profession to remain on the cutting edge. We want to show 
that yes, we progress with the time. And there is a time also to cut the past and move into the future. And this is futuristic product here that really will propel you to the top. There's no other way to do it, you know. So please, you know the way to go now. So tell us why you're here today. Well, I came to see this wonderful show, heard of it for a long time. And I came here today to be with my friend, uh, Maral and Jacques from Amoretti, to help them launching those products, if I can help. You know, I rarely, you rarely will see my name with any product. In my lifetime, I've endorsed possibly two products, but nothing like this. And I knew that I wanted to be here. And I will help as much as I can because I know many pastry chefs will thank me for that. Because I saved them money, saved them staff, saved them time, and also have them having a wonderful product to sell. So you were at the White House for a very long time. Could you tell us which presidents you served under? Yes, I started uh, on the President Carter. I was hired by Mrs. Carter and uh, I served in President Reagan and his family, President Bush and family, President Clinton and his family, and President Bush again at the end. So I had um, a great privilege and a great honor to be part of this great house for 26 years. You know, you can't help but becoming part of the White House when you go every day of your life practically for 26 years to work there and meet those wonderful people. And let me tell you, I had my biggest privilege was to know those people as human beings, not as president. And this is a huge difference. And you find out most of the time that those people are amazing people. And we, citizens of any country, should get to know our president better before we criticize them. Critic is easy, especially at the bar drinking a beer. You can critic for several hours, as you know. But are you saying the right thing? I don't think so. So yes, that was my privilege to know them as human beings. So you're here today to sign your books. Could you tell us a bit about each one? Yes, this was my first book. Desert University. I wrote this book uh, in my house, my wife helping, for two years. We worked on this book for two years. And all the recipes were tested on our president and first lady. You can't go higher than that. <laughs> this is why I have a good product, a product that I am very proud to present and sell. Now this book, only one in the world, endorsed by five first ladies. Now you should read what they say about me. It still makes me blush when I read what they say about me. <laughs> That's really the book to have. As a matter of fact, I recommend anybody when spring comes in, you do spring cleaning. So all the cookbook you have on your shelf in the trash. This is the only one that should be there. That's the only one you need. Everything is in it all the explanation. That's number one. Number two, I don't have here today. It's a cake book. It's called Basic to Beautiful Cakes. It's in reprint right now. And then after that, I had another book that is not here today because it's in reprint also. And this is my memoir uh, called All the President's Pastry. That's the title of the book, All the President's Pastry. That's also in reprint should be available again in September. And uh, I wrote uh, the same book in French also, that's selling in France right now. And it's called Sucre d'État. That's what, not secret, Sucre d'État. And then this is my latest book that has been published about a year and a half ago. And this is all, not all, but a good chunk of my special dessert done for special occasion, like state dinner at the White House. 
Now, the interesting part about this book, I make zero money on this book. All the proceeds from this book I'm giving back to the White House for preservation and renovation of the White House. This is my way to say thank you to the American people for giving me the opportunity for 26 years to be on top of this nation. Thank you. Thank you.